What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers and welcome back to the Tried Man YouTube channel once again. Today we're talking window tracks, how to professionally clean them, so stay tuned. Right then folks, so to professionally clean window tracks, which is basically this part in here, okay? Now you can see there it's rather dirty, hasn't been done in a long time. So what we're gonna basically do is we're gonna put cleaning solution into here first, give it a scrub, and then suck all the dirt and that dirty cleaning solution back out, leaving a nice, lovely white frame when hopefully we're finished. And we're gonna do up the sides and along the top of the frame all the way around. Now to do this, need a few bits and pieces. We've got a wet and dry, this is a battery powered wet and dry vacuum. Okay, this one's really good. It's made by a German company, Einhell, it's called. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a really good wet dry vac. And we've got a bucket of clean water. We've got some cleaning solution here. Now you can use whatever you prefer really, but this is just a general purpose cleaner. I'll leave a link down below to the ones I like to use and an assortment of different brushes as well. So what we're gonna basically do first is get our cleaning solution and just simply spray in all of the tracks there. Now, don't worry about getting water or cleaning solution into the tracks. Normally, they have a little run out port, a little vent there, which allows the solution to run out outside of the building, out onto the sill. Um, so don't worry about filling up these tracks with, with water or cleaning solution. So just give them a spray. Now, obviously, if it hasn't been done for a while, with your cleaning solution, let it sit for maybe a few minutes just to let it do its work. So make sure we do up all the sides as well. Get yourself a good spray bottle as well. This I got from like an auto parts type store. It's for car valeting. It's got a good pressurized jet on it. So it's good for blasting into all the crevices. So I'm gonna give that a nice blast all up in there. Okay, so that is all pretty much covered in cleaning solution. So what I'm gonna do now is agitate it with the brushes. So here we have an assortment of different brushes. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy, but I just bought a little pack of brushes off of Amazon and they give you several different kinds. So we've got a very sort of hard, stiff bristled brush here. We've got a little one which is quite stiff as well. That's good for getting into the corners. And we've got this one, it's quite thin. So that's good for these sort of thinner parts here. Okay, but yeah, just, just a decent stiff bristled brush, a few different types to get into all the little nooks and crannies um, would definitely help you. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, I quite like this little one actually. It's quite a stiff bristled brush. So we're just gonna start basically giving that a little scrub in there. Now, this has not been done for quite some time, so it does need a fair scrub. And make sure, obviously, to have a good look round into the corners here. So there's actually a lip uh, to the window frame here. So you want to make sure you get right in behind there as well and just have a good look under here, under this seal. Make sure you get everything in there. If you need to add more cleaning solution, just simply do so, because sometimes, especially the sides, do obviously tend to run down, down to the bottom, and then the sides tend to dry up relatively quickly. So if you need to, just apply a little bit more cleaning solution into those tracks, and then just start scrubbing it again. And grab our brush. Now, if it's a really, really dirty set of tracks you're dealing with, sometimes you can't really get them absolutely perfect, but you can certainly get them a lot better than they were when they first started. But sometimes, depending on the type of frame you're dealing with, sometimes those little nooks and crannies can be rather difficult to get into, um, and sometimes near enough impossible, depending on the style. Thank you. 
right there now that it's all been scrubbed and the cleaning solution applied everywhere we're going to use our wet and dry vac and suck all that dirty cleaning solution out of the tracks and then finally use a microfiber cloth to dry and wipe the frame from top sides and bottom so let's crack on and get on with that shall we Now what I also like to do is sometimes it doesn't quite pull out everything so what I'd like to do is use a little bottle of just, just water and just give it a good scoosh in there and it really just helps to flush all the rest of that stuff out and then use the, the wet dry vac again to just suck all that out and you'll see the massive difference. Right there, I mean, with, even without using the microfiber cloth just to wipe up, you can see what a difference that's made compared to what it was before. Absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do now, just to finish off, is take a microfiber cloth like this, but you can basically use it, any kind of cloth will do fine. And then we're just going to wipe the whole, all the framework all the way around, just give it a nice good clean up. And then just what you can do as well, if you want to get the cloth into the grooves, it's just to kind of fold it in half and just use sort of the edge of the cloth there to get into those little grooves and get them dry and nice and clean. So let's do that. So there we are folks, that is the frame all nice and clean around the sides, the top there, and also down in the bottom. Most of the debris you'll normally find is in the bottom here, that's where it collects, where your dust, dirt, little insects that can collect in here. Normally the sides aren't too bad, so you can usually clean them quite quickly. And then usually what I do when I'm finished as well, because obviously like I mentioned before, you've got these little ports here that let the water out outside it's just remember and give the outside a little clean as well so you don't leave any dirt and debris lying on their sill but if you're waiting to clean the windows then you can always clean the windows after you do this and then that way the sill's getting cleaned afterwards anyway but that is how you professionally clean the tracks and what you can also use is your clean bucket of water if you want and a window cleaning applicator and rub that in as well. That's another way that you can do it. So hopefully that helps you.